almost missed her. I think it says H-O-E, but I'm saying this as it is. Ho. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome! And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I love buying and reviewing inexpensive, affordable makeup from Dollar Store, AliExpress, you name it. I'll be a guinea pig and I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm doing another look with a palette I got in TJ Maxx. If you've seen my TJ Maxx haul, this is one of them. And this is the one I was excited the most. That's Alice Edwards. It is beautiful and we're doing this look. And we're going to be chatting as well. Just a little life update and... If you're curious, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Leave me a comment below and let's get right into this look. So let's start with all swatches first. It's not a new palette, of course, but uh, I got this in TJ Maxx. And in my whole video, uh, I'll link this up here. I told you it was $19.99 and the retail price, I believe, is $48. So let me do the satisfying moment. The mirror. The mirror is nice. It's a beautiful packaging. I mean, I love hot pink. It comes in a box. It explains what's inside, uh, which ones are press pigments. The press pigments are the BBDC. Then the Texas made Dream It and Believe. I think I'm right. I looked it up before, I'm pretty sure. So this is a traditional Anastasia packaging, 14 shades, as if I'm familiar. <laughs> I only have two palettes from TJ Max, but we know what it looks like. So these are the swatches. Why I was painting them in the wrong part of my arm? I don't know. All right, the white is headliner. The gold one is Inspire. Then Unicorn Drive. Then uh, Brick Road, yellow. Yellow swatched real nicely, but for some reason I had a trouble with it on my eyes. Uh, Texas Made is pink, Dream It Blue, and next one is Back Rolls. If you know Lisa Edwards, you know the Back, back Rolls. She's been accused of having Back Rolls. <laughs> I love Drag Race, don't mind me. So, uh, back rolls is here, brown, have not used it yet. Then I got the Supreme. It kind of looks more orange in my arm than on the palette, which is odd. Next we got Ho, and Ho, I missed Ho somehow, as if I would be offended. Here's a Ho, <laughs> almost missed her. I think it says H-O-E, but I'm saying this as it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm just giggling. D-D-G, and that's uh, the purple shining one. I've got that in my eyes. It's beautiful. Then i got B-B-D-C. This one, it's dark. I have not used it yet. It's like a dark purple. And that's a press pigment as well. Beyond. Beyond is like a pink uh, shimmer. I got it in my eyes. Then we got Belief, another press pigment. I got it on me. Beautiful. And really, really great black. Beast. Beast! <laughs> that's a black. So that's all of them. And as usual, I have to twist my arm. I never think about this in advance. <laughs> so that's the swatches. It swatches nicely. And it performs, as you can see, pretty nicely. So if you guys want to see how I made this look, then keep on watching. I'm gonna be talking about some life updates and uh, my husband and I future trip. We're going on vacation and that's it. Let's get into the look. So we ended up with this look. I mean we is me obviously. <laughs> so as you know in the previous clip and my brushes are rolling on the table. This is what we're working with. And that's the one I've been eyeing for a long time and finally I got my hands on for $19.99 in TJ Maxx. So this is an awesome, awesome palette. So this is my second look 
because the first look ended up being trash, sort of. I wanted to do this, 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 and this, kind of a rainbow. And for some reason, the brick road and Texas made, the pink and yellow, would not blend together at all. And pink and believe Texas made and, uh, what is this, believe in Texas made, purple and pink, would not blend either. Um, I wonder if that's because they are pressed pigments, but um, I don't know, why not? Well, this look blended easy, but for some reason, pink and purple just would not budge. So I've got my eyeshadow base, and this is Lee's. And again, I tested them. It works for me the same as the concealer. So I'm just using it because I bought it, and I think it really works well. So now I'm gonna press it in a little bit because it creased. So this is kind of a chat get ready with me. So we're just gonna do this look, and I'm not gonna be talking. I'll talk about the eyeshadow, but mostly what's going on. So I'm going to start with the dark going into the inner corner and we're starting with the blue. This blue is so dreamy. It's called Dream It. It is beautiful. The pigmentation is there. This palette is really good. So I'm going between this mirror and the other mirror. And the problem is every time one of these mirrors get into the shot, I get out of focus. So got to figure this out. So I'm doing my eyes first because I'm filming a few videos at the same time and that is because we're going on vacation, my husband and I. It's been like over a year uh, since we went on a trip so it's kind of time to go see something. He finally got approved for 10 days off, like 11, from his work. So we're leaving March 1st and we always wanted to see Europe. I'm from Europe, but it, it's Eastern Europe and we grew up poor, so we never had money to travel. And we were married 20 something years, so never traveled anywhere. And we just started traveling uh, like 2018. Uh, we saw London and Paris, oh love, I oh, love Europe. London was so beautiful. Paris was beautiful too, but I really, really love London. I think because London reminded me of New York, and I really feel like New York feels like home to me, although I'm in LA now. Yeah, it blends pretty easy. So I'm just placing the colors now. So the thing is, my husband met me online dating. There is a video of Get Ready With Me, how we met. We met online a long time ago. And he went to visit me in my country. I'm going with Belief, the purple. And that was uh, 1998. So since then, he hasn't been there. Thing is, when we were just married, we never had enough money to go traveling together. So I went there to visit my parents alone, all the time actually, because uh, airline, airfares, they were high, so I just went alone, just trying to make sure I'm in focus. I like to use fluffy brush closer to my inner corner because I don't want the color to be too deep here. I want to kind of fade it out a little bit. So, he's never been there, I mean, since 1998. So it's very exciting that we can both afford to go there and see Italy. We're going to Rome for four days and then Kishinev, which is the uh, capital of Moldova. If you guys are interested, if you look at the map, uh, Moldova is next to Ukraine and Romania. It's kind of a very small country, European country. Uh, they used to be part of Soviet Union, where I grew up. Now they're all independent. It's one of the poorest countries now. So my mom, my dad passed away a while ago. But my mom is still there. She did try to move when we lived in uh, Florida. She got a green card. But she already had a beginning stages of dementia. Kind of like, it's not bad, but her memory is real bad. So she couldn't learn English. She couldn't get used to the lifestyle. She had no friends. She 
didn't do anything. It was very depressing, you know, at that age to move countries, it's like, it's just jarring. So we tried, but she was there almost a year. And another thing, she has health issues and she wouldn't get any health insurance because unless you work 10 years in the US and have social security for 10 years, you'll never get any benefits because technically we are the sponsors. So long story short, she went back and she got uh, one better apartment now and she lives, my aunt is there, my aunt is her sister, uh, my cousin, which is my uh, cousin, my aunt's uh, daughter. See, in Russia, we don't have cousin, we have sister, a sister. So we kind of like grew up very close, but we haven't seen each other in a while too. I'm going with a small brush, I'm going into pink, Texas made. So my mom has brands, a few girlfriends, and my aunt. So it's, you know, she can go out to a, a store and just, you know, speak with her uh, acquaintances, you know, at least somebody. So at least she gets health care. So it was scary. A few years, years ago, she had an episode uh, where she fainted and she hit her head and I had to go there because she kind of like didn't remember where she was and stuff. But it went back to normal more or less with medication and now she's managing and her dementia is not getting that much worse. But she kind of like, she has very bad memory. I mean, she remembers everyone. She functions alone, but she uh, forgetful, you know. I tell her and she forgets in a second. So last time I was there two years ago. It was uh, almost three years ago, actually. That was 2017. So I'm very excited. My husband and I are going to see her and see all my relatives. And we're going to see Italy, too. So I can't wait to see my mom. So I kind of want to uh, pre-film. It's my first time traveling uh, while I have YouTube channel. <laughs> Because my YouTube channel is new and small, so I have not traveled and interrupted my schedule, and I don't want to. So I want to pre-film if I can, but uh, if I can't pre-film, I kind of want to do vlog if you guys are interested. I don't know if you guys are interested to see me on the road and to see me maybe shopping for makeup in Italy and in Moldova. That should be interesting too. Because I don't want to just uh, do like a vlog travel because you might be bored and I want to make it kind of makeup related. But I want to do this on my phone because my phone takes pretty good videos. That's what I did when I started my channel. If you go to my first videos, the sound quality is not as good because I didn't have a microphone so I just used my phone. See, now it blends easy. Looks very good. So another thing is, another great news, uh, the grand opening of my gym, my fitness center, I mean my, the one I, I, uh, I'm employed at, finally happened. LA has the worst uh, loss. You know, they had trouble, they had, they were supposed to open in October, but Los Angeles City, uh, put down all kind of rules and laws so every time we'd come to inspect they would not pass so it's been like almost October November December January it's like five months yeah so it took a long time to actually open so I'm starting back to work finally not doing YouTube videos only but also teaching Zumba cycle so that's gonna be my new job so I'm very excited so now I'm gonna have a lot of things to do <laughs> so this is looking very good I'm really impressed I kind of like pigmentation of this palette better than the Riviera I think they're very similar the colors they have in the Riviera 
a pink and purple, very similar to this, but I kind of like this better. I don't know. Maybe because I'm partial to Alisa and the drag queens. <laughs> but it's looking good. So let me know in the comments if you want to see like, uh, you know, just travel blocks, you know, airport, you know, getting out to, in Rome, maybe some sightseeing, the finds, you know, whatever I can find there. I don't know if I'll have enough time, but I really, really, really want to see what kind of makeup they have, like a authentic Italian brands. So that should be interesting. And maybe I'll find authentic uh, Moldovan brands. I don't know if they had those because uh, last time I was there, you can go to a big flea market and they have a lot of makeup made in China, you know, and they have, you know, other regular brands, what we have here. All right, I think I'm blending this to death. <laughs> I start talking and I won't shut up. So I'm going to go drag this blue under my eye and that's the beauty of doing makeup eye makeup before skin because I can just kind of go wild. I still like to do uh, everything together, skin first and eyes. And yes, I'm doing my low lash line first because I just clean it up and apply foundation and I never have problems with it. So if you do a really neat job, you don't need to worry. So that's looking good. So. Uh, for the shimmers, I did not want to do a cut crease. I just want kind of blended look, like a smoky blended without any cut crease or anything. So I went with my finger application. I haven't done this in a while. And I need manicure real bad. <laughs> and that's going to happen uh, before vacation. We have like two, two weeks, less than two weeks left. So I'll just get them done before the trip. I'm just going to look ratchet like this. <laughs> So I'm going to the DDG, and this is the shadow here, the purple, the beautiful, stunning metallic shimmer. So let's do this. I'm going to go to the other mirror. I don't know, keep switching between two mirrors. You see this? Let me zoom you in a little more. It attaches easily, even to a matte eyeshadow, which is good. It looks great. My Apple Watch just told me to stand up, I think. I'm like, no, B. I'm not standing up. I'm working here. <laughs> uh, Apple Watch can be very annoying. I'm like, I'm editing my video. I'm sitting around. And it's like, it's time to stand up. <laughs> I've been doing Zumba all morning long. What does that not count? So I'm going to do the other finger into Inspire, the gold. And I think I'm just, uh, I did the other eye with the brush, but I want to go with my finger and see how that goes. See that? Actually, I think it looks even better with the finger application. I'll use a little bit of flat brush to kind of stamp it on a little more. And I like to uh, blend it out into the purple. I don't like to make my main eyelid too dark, like again, my deep set eyes, I don't like that, but I kind of, I'm living through this kind of look, very smoky, very kind of mysterious, dreamy. <laughs> so I'll blend these two together. So my first cycle class uh, after the grand opening is going to be Monday. So I've been working on my playlist. If you guys take spinning, cycling, I'm certified through spinning, Johnny J. And, well, they all call it cycling now. So I'm teaching my first class on Monday and then my first Zumba class on Tuesday. And I've been teaching spinning for like, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> I started in 1999, so probably like 29 years, 21 years. But Zumba, ooh, Zumba is my new love, more or less, it's newer, and I'm living for dance. Dance is life. Dance is everything, guys. And I'm kind of excited about that more than I'm excited about spinning. You know, it's kind of like you've done this for so many years, I'm like, I love it, but 
I love Zumba. <laughs> it's just my favorite. Zumba, cardio, hip hop. I used to teach mixed fit. Mixed fit. It's like a boot camp and hip hop. Unfortunately, in New York, there was not much mixed fit, so I switched to Zumba. Mixed fit is kind of a smaller uh, format. If you live in uh, southeast, southwest, you probably heard of it in Arizona, in Nevada, New Mexico, and some of the some of the southeast they have mixed fit, but it's a small company, and I love it. But I felt like it's time for me to move to a bigger uh, format that's more known. It's easy to get a job teaching Zumba. So I'm using the same brush that came in a palette. Uh, I like it actually. It kind of looked cheap, <laughs> but it works real well. I'm taking the white and it's called headliner. And I like to lighten up my inner corner and kind of blend the pink here. So real, real bright up. So I don't look like a zombie. My favorite comparison, zombie starving for brains. <laughs> That's what I look like with my dark circles. So now I highlight the brow bone with the same, I'll use the other side, the brush, it's more narrow. And I'll go for the gold, Inspire. Ooh, this is a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. It's real nice. I'm impressed. I kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of like this one better than the Riviera, I think. Yeah, I think it's kind of better, uh, I don't know, better, better color story or something. I don't know, I'm living for this. So what I like to do is this blue brush with the blue, I'm going to dip it into a white eyeshadow headliner. And we're going to blend this out. So you're kind of creating the lighter blue by mixing the dark and the white. Because there is no sort of there is no blue, light blue. So when there is no transitional shade, what you guys can do, it kind of go in between. So you can kind of go like this, white and blue, white and blue, and there you go. You made yourself a lighter blue. See, it works. You know, not every palette is gonna have all the colors of the rainbow to blend. So you can kind of. Just play around and make it work. Same thing with the purple. I went to a white and just add a little bit. And I'll soften it immediately. See? Looks already better. So another thing I was worried about, the gym grand opening. Uh, when I was auditioning, I warned them that I have voice problems. You can hear my voice is kind of shaky. It's my spasmodic dysphonia. If you haven't seen my voice issues, it's in my channel. I can link it up here. Uh, it's a disorder, neurological. So it's an involuntary vocal cord spasms. Uh, and some people have their vocal cords closed and just stay closed and some stay open. So when your vocal cords stay closed, it's more of a, like a, a sound, I think. But when they open, you lose vowel, vowels, you know. So sometimes I go, you know, it's kind of becomes breathy. So mine is more rare. So my vocal cords kind of freeze and I can't produce the sound. So it's very bizarre. Brain is weird. Your brain doesn't send a signal and just pass. So... Um, I was wondering how I'm going to teach, you know, because I have to cue cycling. And during auditions, they heard it. I told them, my voice might be a little weird. <laughs> and then um, director, he says, yeah, I heard that. But he's like, if you didn't mention it, I probably wouldn't notice. I'm like, okay. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm not going to suck big time. Uh, so what do we do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to put pink. In a inner corner I'm using the same brush and I'm going into beyond so this is kind of very similar this is like metallic and this is matte so I'm gonna go into metallic and we're gonna put it right here make sure you can see me and I'm in focus I think my last video was a lot out of focus and my mirror was in the way my mirror was in focus I hate that so 
while I'm doing this, it's kind of give you a little bit sickly look, but if you're worried about pink, make your eyes look like you're crying, put white eyeliner in the waterline and it's gonna kind of offset the pink. And I put the blue one here, so it really, really works. It offsets the pink. So using this same brush and going into the shimmery purple, just kind of like blending this together. So now that I laid all the colors, we can just blend and make sure it's all nice and smoky. Everything is blended. Yeah, I really like Anastasia brush. I really wrote it off as kind of cheap, but it's not. I mean, it might look like it's plastic and stuff and black. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know what I was thinking, but this is a nice brush. I actually like it. So that's a smoky look we're getting. Yeah, I like this. This is a nice eyeshadow. I think it blends really easily when applied the way I applied it. The only problem I had was yellow. Blending in pink with pink in the mattes and pink blending with purple. It was kind of, I don't know, a sticky situation, literally. It was sticking but not blending. But otherwise, it's really, really nice. So, so what I did with my waterline, uh, I got these new pencils from Colourpop, uh, cream gel liners. So I got the blue one. Now it makes me want to get some more colors because I'm so used to white. white. Uh, I never use color. So I'm like, hmm, I like color now. <laughs> and this is like a really pretty blue, purplish, lavender kind of blue. And I'm going to go right in my waterline. Make sure I'm not disappearing, disappearing from viewfinder. Last time I was doing the video, I was going like this, and I'm like, seriously? <laughs> so this is very, very pigmented. These gel liners are amazing. Colourpop. I'm impressed. I need to try more Colourpop. So now I'm going with a white. And here's another trick. I wanted white to be a little pinkish because of the pink shadow. So if you don't have pink pencil, I mean, it's kind of like a do-it-yourself. <laughs> so you have white pencil. This is a NYX, just a very thin NYX pencil. I'm taking this, <laughs> very simple. I'm dipping it right into a matte eyeshadow. So you get a little dot of pink. I know it's kind of like a real duh, simple, but it works. So I'll just put it on right like, th like that. So now we got pink eyeliner. See, it worked. I don't know if I, how I feel about pink in my waterline. So I kind of like add a little more white, make sure it's not too pink. So I think it looks decent now. So I think I'm going to go finish my eyes off camera. And we'll see the full look. And we're gonna see how this looks. And again, the foundation lays easy. You just, uh, if you wonder how I do it, I'm just very careful. I just use sponge and go right on the line. And if I see that something disappearing, I'll just put a little more eyeshadow over. I kind of like this better than doing a uh, foundation and then the low lash line. I just wanna get done with the eyes and go on. So I'm gonna clean this up, finish the eye look and the face look, and we'll be back. So I'm back. I finished all the makeup, the face and the highlight and the whole shebang. And I could not resist to add a little bit of glitter. I added new e.l.f. liquid glitter and I think it's a Disco Queen. Just a little bit, let me zoom in. So that's the eyes. I am impressed, I'm a big fan. I live for the purples, the blues and the pinks, especially, oh, almost moved almost lost my mirror. So I live for these colors all together, so I really, really enjoy this. I think out of two that I got in TJ Maxx, this is my favorite, definitely. And I love drag queens, I love Elisa, she's fabulous. 
So I'll keep using this, definitely. I like the color story. I like all of the colors. They blend nicely. I'm still to play with the rest of them. And I also added black in the outer corner. I didn't tell you, but I did add it. And the beast. Beast. <laughs> this is a really good black. Really, really good. So it came out nice. Blends easy the way uh, the colors, the colors I chose blended easily. I'm still on the fence about the yellow, but other than that, I like it. So if you guys like this video, give this a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think. This is not a new palette, so let me know, do you have it? Have you seen this in TJ Maxx for 19 bucks? It's ridiculous, I love it. <laughs> so subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.